competitor, uh, tough, um, just an inspiring kid to watch play basketball. I mean, she makes you play harder. She makes you play harder when you're on the floor with her. The first quarter here in the Farrell Center. Very nice crowd. Here's to Cohen. Just took it away on the perimeter to Christy Wallace. Kicks it left side to Landrum. Will drive. Drop it off for the easy bank in basket. Well, what a terrific team play by Juicy Landrum. She and Christy Wallace running the floor well. Christy Wallace knifes in for the bucket. The free throw line. A three point play puts Baylor up 15 to 6. Stala Lions penetrates into the paint, now kicks it back outside to Richardson. Seven to shoot. It's a long three pointer that is well short, and the shot clock expires. Well, John, that was just terrific defense by Christy Wallace out front on Crystal Lions. Lions is their leading scorer, averaging almost 15 points per game on the year. Christy doing a nice, nice job on that. So a turnover on the shot clock violation. Baylor has the ball back, leading 15 to 6 over KU. Entry pass to Cox. Fires it far side to Wallace. Three is in by Christy Wallace. A great job of reading the defense by Lauren Cox. Saw him sagging in from the offside. Kicked it out quickly to Christy Wallace. Beautiful job by Juicy Landrum that time trying to get over the screen. She was picked. Look at that kick out again by Lauren Cox on the three ball. First three point shot of the game for the Lady Bears. Nothing but twine. That was a foul on Tyler Johnson. He gives the ball back to the Lady Bears, who lead by 12. Delani Brown, a little range shot, no good. Loose ball tipped out. Wallace claims it. Well, first, Delani Brown tipped one out. Then Lauren Cox right back with another tip out. Wallace, wide open three. That one is good. She drains it from the left side. Timeout, Jayhawks. Well, here in the Big 12 last year, averaging 20 points per game. So that was a tough break for this. Kansas Jayhawk program. Yeah, huge loss there. Cohen, free throw line jumper, rattles in. She is cut off, kicks it back outside to Wallace. Good transition defense by Kansas to stop the early shot try by D.D. Richards. Morris on the perimeter. Back to Richards, 10 to shoot for the Lady Bears. Wallace puts up a three and nails it. Now, Chris can't move once you're set. How about that pass? Dee Dee Richards finding Christy Wallace open on the right wing. As you said, John, her 13th point of the ball game. In case you're wondering, Christy Wallace high for the year was 27 against the Texas Longhorns here about a month ago. Backed off of her a little bit. She's so quick, doesn't want her to drive to the basket. Landrum drives, passes, Wallace firing again, and hitting another three-pointer. How about that pass by Juicy Landrum? Great shot by Christy Wallace. Christy Wallace with 16 in the first half. She's four of six from three-point range. Brandon Schneider in his third season as head coach at KU. Now he won the national championship in Division II level. Woo, Wallace, how about that? Floats in for the bucket. How about that? 19 first half points for Christy Wallace. What a heads up play. Saw that side cleared, and she took it all the way to the net. And 7 of 11 shooting from the floor by Wallace. They each picked up two fouls in that first half. Osorio misfires on the three. Wallace on the run out. Gains control of the dribble. Drive, layup, no, but Juicy Landrum the rebound. I think Christy Wallace got poked in the eye. She's uh, over there in that corner. Yeah, she's dazed a little, little bit. bit. Yeah, she? I think she is. I'm not sure she's. Uh... There was no foul call. She is definitely, maybe her nose. Oh, yeah, she got a little bloody nose. I guess that was a ghost that caused that. <laughs> there was no foul called on that play. Well, the officials will look at the monitor. You know, anything uh, up above the shoulders. So while Christy is being attended to, and uh, Alex Olson will take her back into the team training room, here's another look at it. Yeah, just kind of yeah, took that got, left I, forearm there. I think there. the uh, elbow caught her a little bit. Certainly wasn't intentional, but... Uh, there was had to be contact. Crystal Alliance and Coach Mulkey is not happy about that. They're going to put uh, Christy Wallace back in. She's uh, stopped. 
caught by Dakia Cohen, but missed the easy putback. Long rebound there. Christy Wallace battling for it. Tied up on the floor. She's got a bloody nose, and she's still bloody in her nose, diving on the floor for loose yeah, balls. She's got some kind of padding there on her nose. That would obviously bother anyone, especially when it comes to shooting. But uh, Christy Wallace is so tough, she'll overlook it. <laughs> she will. And it is Baylor's ball in the alternate possession. Entry pass to Brown, banker left side. What a sweet move for two for Kalani Brown. Well, sweet and quick. Very decisive decision by Brown to make the beautiful kiss off the glass. 13 on the day for Brown. Averages 20 per game. Up the floor to Wallace. Wallace puts her head down, drives, layup no, but a foul. You know, she wasn't even thinking about getting popped in the nose on that last drive. She just does what's needed for this Lady Bear team. What a great leader. I've said often she is the heart and soul of this Lady Bear basketball team. One of two seniors on the squad, she and Dakia Cohen. Well, there have been some se uh, memorable senior days in the past here at Baylor. The one, uh, the game against West Virginia coming up uh, a week or so away, two weeks away will no doubt be another one of those. So we see Christy Wallace get her 21st point of the day. I this lead of the game. Osorio, a three, no good. Rebound bounces out into the hands of Christy Wallace. Wallace up the floor, banks it in, and a foul. Christy Wallace, she's not backing down a bit. The perimeter for Baylor right now with Christy Wallace, and there's the first turnover of the game, but that was a great defensive play by KU. Wallace trying to make up for it. Getting back defensively, and she blocks the ball out of bounds off of the Kansas player. Boy, look at this crowd. How Standing ovation for that effort. Christy just smiling. I guess everybody will have a chance to honor her. Uh, the Lady Bears will have their last home game against West Virginia coming at home February 26th against West Virginia. Yeah, that's a double header at TCU next Saturday. Men play at 11 and the uh, women play, I believe, at 5 in the afternoon. It's the uh, Jeff Schmeltikoff special in Fort Worth. Men and women playing TCU. Oh, Wallace from outside with three. Uh, one point away from her career high. Now has 26 points this afternoon. What a shot by Christy Wallace. Doing it from outside, inside, both ends of the floor as well, offensively and defensively for Wallace. Into the low post, ball stripped away. D.D. Richards brings it up. Baylor has numbers. To Wallace on the right side, lobs for Brown. Up and in for Kalani Brown. Timeout, Kansas. Yeah. Open for a three, no good. Rebound, Kalani Brown, her sixth of the day. Up the floor to Wallace, to the trailer. Morris, three just short, front iron. And Wallace flies in. Pure hustle to get the rebound. Dakia Cohen hits it and a foul. How about that sequence by Baylor? Boy, and I love it when the ladies smile. They know when they're doing something good. Look at all the smiles on those faces. How about the hustle continuing for Christy Wallace? A phenomenal day today. Great finish by Dakia Cohen. Good kiss off the glass. It's always fun to see the players get excited when they do something well. I love their enthusiasm. And that bench exploded over there also. Christy Wallace gets a standing ovation as she goes to the bench. 101 on the clock in the third quarter. Cohen. Um, and then you have a kid like uh, Wallace today that, um, you know, makes shots. Um, you know, it makes them very, very difficult to beat. With, if, uh, you know, again, if Wallace is, is, and I think Christie's having a terrific season um, and has really helped, uh, you know, those guys play at another level. And, and I think she's a, a really big difference maker. She made a hustle play uh, that led to an and one that, um, you know, we're going to show our team. Uh, you know, that's the kind of, um, you know, competitive drive and spirit you have to play with. She brings that to the table every possession. Well, that that was a great play too. That that's not the one I'm referencing, but uh, it was a half court a half court loose ball that I felt like we were closer to, and we went with one hand and she went with two, uh, and then they turned it into an and one.